like how you come with your own sound effects. It's because when I like edit, I like, I'm so used to like doing like the boom. When I say boom, it's like boom. It literally has like a, I'm gonna stop now. Hi guys, welcome to another video on the electrics. You're looking fine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if, uh, did I ever tell you if you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple? I've obviously said that before. Hopefully you guys are having Lover. a fantastic evening when you're when you're seeing this. So we're actually going to be doing a review slash test of the all new Enlightened flavors that just came out. And unfortunately when I got them yesterday, they had a little shipping delay. FedEx had a little shipping delay. So they didn't really arrive the way that they were intended to arrive. Yeah. Look at that people. Uh oh. We have some chocolate. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Well, it's safe to say that the new, all new enlightened plants are a little melted. But before we get to all of that, here's a little, since this is a whole vegan video, I actually had a really awesome vegan experience with my friend Brian Turner and his girlfriend, Sammy Marie Grimm, who are also on YouTube. We'll put their channels down below a few months ago that I never got to show you guys, so we're gonna show you that right now. And I think we need to come back and say we went to that second restaurant again. Have we told them about that experience with the salad? And you can save that for the for the meat and potatoes of the video if you okay. want. So now we're gonna show you how that went. Mm -hmm. And we are here. Donna, Donna Jean? Donna Jean. It's called Donna Jean. If I haven't said that enough already. Plant-based. It's time to get some food. Well, we gotta get, we gotta wait for Brian. Do you wanna sit down first? So, potatoes, eggplant, cauliflower. But I mean like, arugula, pomegranate, arugula, arugula. arugula thank you. Pomegranate molasses, thyme infused pears. Like, it looks absolutely delicious. And then the pizzas. Oh, snap. Like, figs, blue cheese, red onions, fire honey, and smoked almonds. Like, that sounds amazing. That's, that does sound amazing. You probably like this one. Garlic, dates, ricotta. So, Brian has been here a million times, and he knows what, what to get. So, I have a feeling that we're going to be enlisting in this. A few moments later. Say what's up. This man. Howdy. Oh. Mr. Brian Turner, Mr. Oh, Sammy Turner. Hello. So, uh, what, uh, what are you guys going to get? Ooh, oh, so sure. it's called the Thunder Kiss 65. It's white wine, garlic, cream, mozzarella, ricotta, spinach, pistachios, <laughs> preserve, lemon vinegar. It's, it's so really good. good. Is that how you get the garlic butter too? Oh, the, the garlic darker. butter? Ooh, we're so having, we're gonna have to do that. Look at those, look at those pythons right there. <laughs> so we're gonna get some food. You hungry? Yes. Yeah. That looks really delicious. Cool. That um, does look really good. Yeah, I don't even does. know. Did you guys order that? Yeah. yeah. I think it's always cool when like kids are stuck on it. Yeah, that's yeah, like she was. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. We were in a. I think we were in HEB, just a random Texas grocery store, <clears throat> and some girl comes up. Like, I can always tell when he's being recognized because they like, I'm like, those people are looking at us. Yeah, yeah. Solid, bro. Thank you. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That looks bomb. Damn. Damn. And you guys got that looks delicious. Yeah, this is a garlic pizza, man. Garlic. Can't eat that. Garlic. 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 Oh, I thought you were pausing with it. I'll, I'll be, I'll be with, no, I'll be up. See how she has she, her mind just jumps to these great places. <laughs> Especially with pictures. I like that it's thin crust. Mm -hmm. So good. They like perfected the crust. Wow. Outrageous. What, what was this? I think that's Satan. Satan himself. It's, ten, it's Tempe, probably. I don't know. I think that one. That's is that like the chorizo one that you guys got? Yeah, it's like a. It's really good. That's really good. That's very delicious. Yeah. And that's why it leaked everywhere. Look. Oh no! It's been poaching. All right. So we. Do you want to tell them about the little experience we had at the vegan restaurant for the second time? Yeah. So that was interesting. So we really liked the pizza. That was such a fun night. 
and so and shout out to Brian and Sam if you're watching. Yes. Um, and so we decided to go back, and it, I don't know if we should, should, should we tell the story. Anyway, so me and Eric are fatties when it comes to restaurants type stuff and we like to we share everything but so we order multiple things basically it's your mind wait like you're you're tricking your mind to know that you're not eating as much food even though you kind of are basically and we ordered this salad and we we're like digging into it well he's doing something else and i'm like into the salad and i keep like hitting something in the salad with my fork and i'm like what kind of vegetable is this and i get to it and it is like, you know when you go to Disney and you get like the pins, like the pin trading? It was a pin of, what's the guy's name from Nightmare uh, Before Tim Christmas? Burton. No, Nightmare Before Christmas. It's Tim Burton, isn't it? No, Tim Burton's the creator. What's the guy's job? Uh, Jack Skellington. That guy. There, there was a pin in our salad. And it was so funny, so I pull it out and I'm like, Eric, look at this. And Eric's like, wow, how cool. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I this thought, is, I thought this it was is, pretty cute. This isn't a cereal box prize. Like this was in our salad. <laughs> and it so. was a full on metal pin. Um, and that was our, that was probably out of all the moments I've had in restaurants and with like finding hair and yeah. stuff like that. That was probably one of my most horrifying That was moments. horrifying. You were like, whoa, that's really cool. I was like. Well, I was horrified for you. Anyway, well, we survived. We obviously. survived, and we'll probably go back. I mean, that was a it, very, it's very, an amazing restaurant. Yeah, that it's, tasted legitimately yeah. like like garlic cheese pizza. I honestly probably won't ever order a salad there again. Oh, I can completely understand but, that. But um, I would definitely get the pizza again. Now, on on this note here, we have a lot of flavors in front of us. Now, if you guys have watched our first enlightened video, we actually tried the triple shot espresso already, and we really like that. It was so, very good. I just want to say I'm a skeptic when it comes to As dairy are most, free flavors. Most people are flavors. skeptics when it comes to dairy free flavors. Now, nothing against vegans or wanting to exclude dairy from your diet, but if you're going to go with diet ice cream in and of itself, it's already low calorie. And then to throw another like boom in there to like make it like less appealing, it's dairy free. And dairy free yeah. tends to be a little bit more chalky. So, yeah. one and, time I accidentally grabbed a Halo top that was dairy free. Yeah. It was so and a lot of people always ask whenever I post enlightened stuff or anything along the lines of being affiliated with enlightened, are you enlightened or halo top? Like, which do you like better? And it really just varies from flavor to flavor, guys. And no, enlightened did not pay us to make this video. I just really, I like their, I like their products a lot. So, which one do you want to start with first? Um. Which one are you looking forward to trying the most? I should say. Well, this one's gonna be banana flavored, and I love banana. I didn't even look at the flavors. So we have triple shot espresso, we have chocolate peanut butter, we have mint cookies and mint, which is great for the holiday theme. Then we have ooey gooey cinnamon bun, which is the one I'm looking forward to trying the most. Monkey business, which is banana, almond, chocolate almond macaroon, and then candy candy bar crunch, which is like another one. Okay, out of all of them, it's gonna be the monkey business because I think it's banana, banana with swirls of peanut, banana with swirls of peanut butter and chocolate chips. Let's try it, it's gonna be good. And we got, we have a paper towel this time, so the table doesn't get all messed up. Ooh. Ooh, it got melted and it refrozen. It got melted and refrozen okay. for it's sure. It's gonna taste the same, right? Guys, we're not going for presentation yeah, on here. Yeah, presentation's not Like, that's what it looks like to be melted down and refrozen. They saw because I, I filmed the unboxing yesterday when I unboxed it and I had stuff everywhere. So, what we're gonna do here, it's actually like, yeah, it's, Okay. So that's what you got right there. That's like basically, guys, what we're going here for here is consistency. You know, a lot of dairy free ice creams have that chalky consistency. Okay, here we go. Cheers. That's good. That is very good. That is very good. That tastes just I sent like some banana. Peanut butter it, well, there. I said that. Is there peanut butter? Banana oh, there is peanut butter in there. Banana with swirls of peanut butter and chocolate chips. Wow. That's delicious. Do you know why? I don't know. It's only 100 calories per pint. That's crazy. Serving. I'm actually, usually when it comes to banana and I ice love cream, banana. I don't usually like it, but. This tastes like my own recipe where you take frozen bananas, yeah. blend it with peanut butter. That's exactly what it tastes like. Why do you blend frozen bananas with peanut butter? I used to do it on show prep. Really? To make 
ice cream because frozen bananas, if you blend it, well, you got a ninja, we could totally do it. Yeah. Bananas, and then you add a little bit of peanut butter. I and actually, you make ice cream. that sounds good. That's exactly what it tastes when like. When I was vegan, I, believe it or not, I was vegan. I made a uh, thing called uh, nice cream. So it was, it was, it's like a plant ice cream, but it's cocoa powder, bananas, and you can put uh, peanut butter in there too. This is very good. With almond milk. I approve of this. What would you give it out of 10? Let's rate them at the end because. Rate them at the end? Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I think we came out really strong out of the game. Yeah. I just, I'm not hopeful for anything else. Um, which one next? I'll try your shoes. Uh, I'm gonna try, I wanna get the chocolate peanut butter out of the way because this is the one I actually think got got stabbed or something like that in the pack during the packaging process and I just kinda wanna see what it's like. And I really, really, it's really- It's probably gonna be like empty. Yeah. How much is in there? There's like half. There's like half in the, in the point. So this is one that I really like that's, the non-dairy free version is amazing. So. I don't think I've ever had the non-dairy free. This one is amazing. <laughs> if you like banana, that's absolutely delicious. Get it, it's like digging for buried mm -hmm. treasure. Very it strong does, peanut butter taste. Yeah, I, what, maybe they're masking it with peanut butter because peanut I butter. Think so. I think peanut so. Peanut butter is a very strong flavor that masks everything. That is a very very strong peanut butter flavor in there. I taste mostly peanut butter. I don't really. Taste Which is peanut good peanut because butter. honestly, I love peanut butter. So there you go. That's that's good for me. This is amazing. This is better than that one. Oh no. I think. It's oh, better he than that is one. so wrong. Don't listen to him. The banana one's a lot better. Wherever you go in this, you get peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. Usually yeah. when they swirl it with peanut butter, they skim with the swirls, but this is this is everywhere. And for five grams of fat per serving, I mean, you're in a decent amount of fat. These same macros. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, five, 16, four. Five, 14, 14 four. four. I like this one better. I like this one better, but. All right, so basically, we're, you're one in, one for one right now, or I don't know what I want to say. One and two. One and two, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Um, Let's next. do the macaroons. Oh, you I do. love macaroons. Don't like them at all. I don't. Are you serious? Bad when, worse. When, why? I'll tell you later. Okay. When I went to Amsterdam. My ex-girlfriend used to make macaroons. Oh, did she make them good or no? Or is it just, no? <laughs> <laughs> when I was in Amsterdam, I probably ate, I like inhaled macaroons. You inhaled them? This. So this is chocolate almond macaroon. And this is 80 calories per serving. I'm actually. I like go to smell it. You can't really smell it. There you go. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, really? I don't like that. You don't like that? Mm -mm. That's just a, that's a very, very, very strong almond taste. Now I can't gross. go back for a second because <laughs> someone just spit their... Oh, I can't let you eat that. That's disgusting. Okay, well that one is off the, uh, it's off the table for tonight. Right? That was not good. I didn't think it was horrible. I mean, I just don't eat, I don't eat macaroons enough. All I, all I really... It does not taste like macaroons. It tastes like, it tastes like... Cherry almond. Yeah, it did taste like cherry. I, Yuck. Yeah, I tasted almonds like like almond extract right off the bat with that. Oh, let's go with something safe like coffee. Coffee is okay. So when it comes to coffee and ice cream, I generally do not like it at all. <laughs> but when they they sent this to us, the non dairy free version, the first time, you guys, you haven't checked that oh video yet. Yeah, that, that was, was that was very good. It was the barista series. Yeah, and that video actually did pretty good on our channel. Oh, sure. that almond one. Blah, blah, blah. So that's what the consistency is like right there. Okay. Right. It tastes exactly like the first one. And honestly, I'm blown away at the fact that like, 
So I'm not tasting a lot of chalkiness in any so of these. So the thing that is that I'm like seeing, like these are, because it's dairy free, these are more icy, not creamy. Yeah, 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 that's true. You do get so more iciness. So keep that in mind, it's like icy, not creamy. But I've gotten that with other dairy free pints too, and they're usually chalky and icy, but I'm not getting any of the chalkiness in this. It's the type of protein that's used. That one's really good. What kind of protein are in these? I think it's like... Milk. I do not see any protein. Oh, broad bean protein. Yep. Good try they, steak. They make broad beans. Oh, that's right. I think that was pretty, the, the monkey one is still my favorite one. I mean, it's good. I mean, this is definitely not my favorite out of all of these because coffee's coffee. Yeah. I'll mean drink in the morning when I'm gonna go pool, but decent. All right, you choose. I feel like that's, I, I'm not gonna choose, I'm not gonna choose, oh yeah, I'm gonna choose that one now. All right, so now we're gonna go with the, this is the candy bar crunch right here. Oh, it's already open. <laughs> so melty, what a disaster. That's too bad. They are making it right. They're sending us a new box. Yeah. Which I we don't probably even, should have used I don't even this. know why they are, because we're not. Yeah, they're just such sponsored. nice people. They're just nice people. Yeah, and they just like look us, it up. Uh, oh, look at that. Hold up. Ooh. So this apparently has candy bar pieces in, on the inside. So I'm extremely excited for this one. It's got peanuts in it too. That's probably what the pieces are. Oh, snap. Ooh, I just found them. Texture. That's what I just found. How, many, how much that is in there? I don't know, that's a lot of peanuts. Oh, four. Oh. Mm. That's a lot of peanuts. It kind of tastes like a Snickers. It does. It does taste like a Snickers. I think it's because it's got a caramel taste and then the peanuts and then the chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of peanuts. It is a lot of peanuts. Like all I taste is peanuts. Maybe that's their trick. We mask it with everything. Peanuts. Like I feel like, like you're peanuts, onto something peanut right butter. now. They're masking. Because I mean, honestly, if you're if you take down a pint of this, so I mean, it's like, 18 grams I don't know of fat. If you guys can see that. 16. That is all. That's just it's all peanuts. Mm -hmm. I want to like taste the ice cream. It's just cho it's a chocolate base. Mm mm. It's caramel, caramel. base. Caramel with swirls of chocolate. And roasted yeah, peanuts. it's like. Uh, I just I don't really. I don't dig this flavor just because there's too much peanuts. Way too I would never buy it. I'm a little bit let down because I was. Banana. The thing is, is that I can make my own. I'm but assuming, it has less carbs, like a lot less carbs. I'm assuming you're gonna pick this one. Which, would you like to save the cinnamon one for last? Yes. Are you sure yes. you want to start with mint? Well, we have to, because it's Well, is left. mint gonna taint? No. Okay. To everybody that just agrees with me right now about mint not belonging in ice cream. I like mint. No. Oh, Ooh. that looks it's like- It's cookies it's and like, mint though, so it, it might be okay because it's, it's like got cookies It's like baby shit green, like really. <laughs> Just put a great image in my mind. <laughs> right? I mean, how do babies poo? How do they defecate? I mean, like, you have a little sibling. I don't remember what their poo well, color was. Well, when they eat peas, it looks like this. When they eat peas, I'm not feeding my kid peas. And stop telling us to have babies. Please. That's funny. The holidays made me go out in the world and see when, like, the types of you people actually be procreating. Many. Yeah, that's true. Especially when you walk into a Walmart. All right. Here we go. Oh, very good. I can eat it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is that is actually fairly good because it's mostly cookie. Like, it kind of tastes like cookie dough. Very, very little. Can you kind of taste that cookie dough? I like, can. It's like flour. Yeah, but I can. There's hard. Like that. That is a very, very faint mint taste in that. Very faint. Why does that taste like cookie dough? Does that have like baking soda in it? I gotta look. Did you know how like when you eat raw cookie dough, it kind of has a bite to it? Mints with chocolate. Un sure unbleached that. wheat flour. She knows her ingredients. I know my ingredients. I can totally taste the flour. 
That's pretty solid. Because it kind of tastes like cookie dough. That's pretty solid. That was very good. Mm. It tastes like I'm tasting like frozen cookie mint, dough. Mint chocolate cookie dough. It really does. That's actually really good. I'm very surprised about that. That's interesting. They added flour. I knew it. Now. Oh goodness. The, you can't go into it with a negative mindset. Oh goodness. Okay, so I've tried other diet cinnamon flavored BS and it's never... I've never been, it's not a real cinnamon roll. Gooey, gooey cinnamon roll. They've pretty much, they've nailed it. I mean. What is that macaroon? <laughs> and of course awful. it doesn't look like much when you look at the top. Ooh. So just keep in mind, the dairy free is icy, not creamy. So. Was wow. I right or was I right? Was I right or was I right? Wow! Was I right or was I right? Mm. There's flour in this too. That tastes like a cinnamon roll. <clears throat> Can we just take this moment? We will remember this moment for the entire history of the electrics. I am so blown away right now. <gasps> how is that even possible in a diet ice cream? Okay. I see how it's possible. Of course. There's 20, there 20 carbs in the last one. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Oh. Yep, yep. Okay. Right again, Eric. Right again, Eric. It tastes good because the carbs are higher. Because there's flour in it. That's interesting. But it's it's that it's that sweetness and that sensational cinnamon roll like taste that you get. <laughs> How many carbs does this one have then? Well, 16. That's not that bad. So we're gonna rank these then. But there's not as much fat. How True. many per pint? 90 calories. Yep. Too fat. Yeah, 90 calories. Wow. All right, guys. Well, these um, two, these three. All ten out of ten. Three. All ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. That's right. Um, now let's go. Um, we already know which one's going to be the worst. I'm going to say Ooh. this one right here is going to be an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Hold up. That okay, that's on your skill. Yeah. I think this one, those two are tied. This well, one? Well, I don't know. These three are all tied. What would you give them rating wise? Six? All about like maybe a six or a seven out of ten. And last but not least, we have the. Oh my god, that don't even. <laughs> they should just take that one off the menu. That was <laughs> awful. Two out of ten for that one, obviously. Two we all... out of ten, you're even going to give it a two? We have to show some love for them sending sending this over to us. At least some. No, love. absolutely. Okay, one. One. Okay, we'll give them one out of ten. One out of ten. We would just want to say thank you guys for tuning in to another video on the electrics. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to let, let us know down in the comments below. Like the video and let us know what you want to see next from us. Electrics out? Out. We out of here.